Hello everyone, welcome to Figma Tips and Tricks tutorial. Today I am going to talk about data visualization using uh, Figma variable. So here I am going to create a bar chart using Figma local variables. And here I have taken the example of monthly sales report. So generally here I am showing uh, just a basic one which is like a month and the percentage of sales. So using the local variable it is very easy here just uh, need some mechanism and uh, the next thing is we can reuse this bar chart for the different kind of report or the table so let's start with an example so here this is showing the monthly sales report and here is the month Jan so while I'm going to hover this it is showing the percentage of sales and the so how we can create this basic one just let's start with the example here so I'm taking one frame And for creating, I'm taking the rectangle. So here we'll use the width one pixel. It's very thin. We can take the so here mostly I'm going to talk about the basic how we can show the bar chart. So here I'm making little small this frame. So this will be the y-axis and again I'm going to take the rectangle and create the x-axis. So to pick some. Now the next is I'm going to take the rectangle and creating the bar. So here I'm going to take this as a 30. So now the next is uh, line which will indicate the percentage or you can say the like a 10, 20, 30 the numbers. Okay, so we'll start with this. Suppose if it is having the height of 10, so it is going up. So, what we need to do here is the one technique just take this and this is the rotation. You can do 180 degree. The next is select this and give height 10, it will come here. So we'll measure from the 20. So suppose we have the 20% sale. We'll use this. And again, going to take the 40. So we'll just copy this and use it here. So measurement will be the 40. You can align like this. And then if we have 60, then 80, and now I'm going to give you 100. Now I'm going to select these lines and make it like this and here the stroke color 
so you can use any of the like uh, now the text so this is just suppose 100 i'm taking and we'll see the font size here I am taking just 10 pixel because frame size is very small. So now what we need to do just extend little and this align mirror. The same way I will just copy this and will make 80. The same way we can say 60 40 and here we can give 20 and if you want you can have here as a zero so this I will make as a pixel now here we need uh, a text which will say month so I'm taking this as Chan So the width will be the same 30 pixel and this 30 pixel and this is align mirror. So next is I'm just going to copy this and keep it the same place and giving the color active color. So before that I will select both and here we can give little radius so both become three pixel radius now I'm going to take the another which is the text which will say number percentage so this I'm going to take 12 pixel So it is aligned now if you want you can use this the next is this is the active and the below is this is just a row it will appear so I'm going to change this color as a this darker Now I start creating the table. So already I have created this table where it is a uh, month name, sales value and the bar. So here I have given Jan, Feb, March till June and July, right? So we'll use the same table here. So this one will be the string and then the value and the boolean and I'm going to just assign and pass through the values so for that we'll select this so this is the active and this is the bar which is behind that and the text which is 100 and jam so just make the group we can say bar one or you can give the month name as a jam so now the next is select the active one and the number use the auto layout 
and here after using the auto layout it will sync like this so select this frame and you can give the name as active so using the auto layout you can see this background is combined with this so we can do like this and this become reverse So select this entire and here you can give 180 degree and this one will become reverse so this text handed just make the 360 degree so it will now appear in a right way so next what I'm going to do this is the bar one or you can say the Jan month so here this is the Jan and this is the rectangle so this rectangle I'm going to pass through the value here which is like apply variable so here I'm going to give the sales value and this is the Jan here I will apply the month name and uh, this is the text and this one is the active so this entirely you can take and here you will get the height so where you will say the apply variable sales value so automatically it will impact this now here select this and here is the variable mode which you can say bar one now I'm going to copy this and giving a little space. So here before doing that, one more thing we need to do here. So this is the active one which we need to pass the value. So this is done if you look at the local variable here Jan Jan is 60 so this didn't impact handed so here we need to give the sales value it will impact and then active one which is the 60 suppose if I give here 100 it will appear 100 and the height will become 100 so now the work is select this active one and once you select this so you will see these are layers and pass through so come to the pass through and select the bar which is i have made a hidden means false for bar one so reason is while i will give the over effect it will appear so I'm going to select this and here I'm going to pass through bar so that entire active frame it won't appear so now next I'm going to take this or here we can give the prototype interaction and I will select while hovering select variable so here I will set the variable bar and will say the true because it is false now again interaction so while will hover and while mouse leave so here mouse leave delay just to ms and then set variable bar false so let's preview so it is working fine so now next what we need to do as we taken for the bar one I am going to copy this for the bar two space and 
just select this go to design and here you can change the mode as bar to it will impact automatically and then again copy give space select say bar 3 and the same way you can copy and select this and you can say here bar 4 so here the bar 4 value which I made it as a true so suppose if you have some of the data which is like a sales is having 80% so color should be this or if it is a 90% so color should be active color should be appear so in the next video I will show how to give the color mode for the each bar as per the percentage of cells. So here I am going to do for the next variable which is bar 5 the same here copy little space and you can change here bar 6 and here you can change this as a bar 7 so let's preview Seventy, sixty, eighty. Even we can make this uh, as a always true after hovering also. So this is the basic one. In the next video, I'm going to show how to give the tool tip and the color variable for the specific values. So how we can reuse? You can see here I have the local variable where it is saying the month name so you can say this as a subject and instead of Jan you can give uh, subject 1 and suppose it is a hundred percent uh, or a out of hundred some value is there suppose we got 70 marks so you can give 70 we can see that physics so we can use this table or you can say this bar chart in this way so it is very easy and reusable component you can create through the local variable so for today Thank you. Thank you very much.